Hello, everybody. It's Joe, aka Nerdfist. Uh, this is going to be a serious video. If you haven't heard about it, the the actor, martial artist, uh, Ernie Reyes Jr. is in the hospital, and he's uh, he's fighting uh, kidney failure. And he's he's in ICU. He was taken into ICU. I guess it was a few days ago now. And uh, this is a, a pretty serious situation. This is a life or death uh, scenario for him. And uh, they have a they currently have a GoFundMe campaign uh, going, trying to raise seventy five thousand dollars. And this is so he can uh, this is so he can get a, a kidney transplant. And if you're like me and you you grew up in the late eighties, early nineties, you'd <laughs> even if you don't know his face, you know who Ernie Reyes Jr. is. Most people probably know him from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, The Secret of the Ooze. He played the Kino, the, the pizza delivery dude. and uh, But a lot of people don't know, he also played Donatello in the first Ninja Turtles movie. And, you know, it's really weird, you know, Ninja Turtles uh, came about during a time of my life when I was going through some, like, really hard stuff, <laughs> some really some really bad times. Uh, my, my father was dying, uh, dying of cancer. And in fact, the the first Ninja Turtles movie came out a week after he passed away. And you know, I remember going to Kmart to buy, you know, clothes to attend my father's funeral and seeing the the you know the posters and the you know the marketing you know ads up for you know the the Ninja Turtles movie that was going to be coming out you know that next weekend. And even though I was going through you know <laughs> some really <laughs> some really bad times, some emotional times. I remember getting really excited for it and being, you know, just, you know, I couldn't wait, even though, you know, I was, gonna get, you know, had to go to a funeral the next day. Um, and, you know, hopefully, you know, that movie, you know, just, you know, gave me a little bit of, you know, escape for a while. And, you know, maybe it did for my mother too, you know, cause she was going through a lot worse stuff than me at the time. Uh, but, I've always I've always really liked Ernie Reyes Jr. and he's in one of my favorite movies of all time and that's uh <laughs> that's that's Surf Ninjas. <laughs> and I don't know if it's a good movie, but it's a movie that I remember from my childhood. It's a nostalgic trip for me and it's one of those movies that I watch, you know, probably several times a year. I put it on when I'm sick. Or, you know, if I'm depressed and I just want to feel good for a little while. All right. Now you kids get in here and clean up your bloody room. And I know best, because after all, I'm 37. Now don't make me come out there and beat you with a leg of mine that no longer works, because I'll do it! You know, I still have the VHS copy from when I was a kid. And it's falling apart. <laughs> you know, it's been watched so many times that it's, you know, there's little you know, flickers and, you know, there's, you know, just little, you know, it's, it's, it's seen better days. Uh, but he was in so much that I remember from a kid, you know, he, you know, he was in, uh, the last dragon and he played the little prince from, uh, red Sonia, which I, I, I believe is a, you know, kind of a, a spinoff from, uh, Conan the barbarian, or I think it is. Uh, but I remember really liking those movies as a kid, and they were, you know, they came on, they always came on late at night, like on TNT or something, and you know, it was one of those, you know, those those movies that you just beg, you know, you know, you beg your parents, kind of stay up and watch Red Sonia, and um, you know, but there's, you know, there's a lot of, you know, other movies he's been in more recently that I really like too, like The Rundown, which has kind of been overlooked, I think, a little bit, you know, recently. Uh, is, is is like one of the first movies that you know starred The Rock, and you know there's this part where he fights, you know Ernie Reyes Jr. and is you know just this awesome, you know fight scene, and it's one of the few times that I can really think of that you know The Rock, you know has gotten his you know his ass kicked in a movie, you know this little. You know, I think he's uh, from the Philippines or something. <laughs> you know, this little dude, you know, just beats the crap out of him, and it's hilarious. Uh, but he was also in this movie that I really liked. I think it came out in 2002 or three, uh, called Pool Hall Junkies. And it is a little bit different movie for him because it's not a, you know, a physical role. He doesn't do any, like, martial arts in it. It's, you know, it's a comedy. It's, 
you know, kind of like clerks or something. It's all about these guys, you know, just hanging out in a pool hall. And uh, it's really weird how this news has affected me that, you know, he's he's sick and could and could die because, you know, the, he's he's one of the faces of my childhood. You know, like I said, you know, at the beginning, if you don't know his name, you probably know his face. And if you're a kid of the 80s or the 90s, you've probably seen him in a couple things. And, you know, when you get older, you know, the, the faces, you know, of your past, you know, start to die off. You know, Christopher Lee, you know, recently died. And, you know, the, it's sometimes it's hard to, you know, realize that, you know, these characters are people. There's people playing these characters. And even though you can go back and see them, in these movies and see them, you know, as, you know, a young, you know, pizza delivery dude or a young, you know, ninja surfer, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, they're always there, you know, and they always look the same, but, you know, they age too, you know, they age, you know, right along with you. And if, you know, you were a little kid, you know, when you saw these movies and <laughs> you're in your early thirties now, these people are getting on up there. And they're not going to be around for forever. And I, I think that's something that a lot of people don't like thinking about because it kind of reminds us, you know, reminds us of our own mortality and that, you know, one day we're going to be dead. One day you're going to be dead. But that doesn't mean we can't enjoy <laughs> the stuff that they do. And it doesn't mean we can't help them out uh, when they need our help. So if you if you've enjoyed any of his movies, even if you don't know who he is, if you enjoyed Ninja Turtles, if you enjoyed Secret of the Ooze, if you enjoyed, you know, Surf Ninjas or, you know, Red Sonja or any of the, you know, the, the tons of stuff this dude has been in, think about throwing a couple shekels his way. Get, throw him a bone. Uh, help him out because this is a dude I'd like to see around for a while. This is a dude who I've always wanted to meet. He's He, he goes to a lot of cons and stuff like that, and I've always wanted to meet him. I've never had a chance to actually go to one of the cons that he's appearing at. So uh, it's a little bit of a selfish uh, wish, <laughs> you know, to to see this dude get back on his feet and have him get back out there and hopefully see him in a lot more things. But uh, I will put the link for the GoFundMe campaign in the description of this video. Uh, and if you're a fan of his like I am, you know, give him a dollar. Give him $10, you know, instead of... You know, buying a cup of coffee tomorrow, you know, help to help this dude out, help him, you know, help him get a new kidney. So, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and go check out his GoFundMe campaign. And I will see you on the next show. Bye, bye, bye.